Uh, hi everyone. Uh, so today we will understand what is the difference between population variance of standard deviation versus sample variance of standard deviation. Uh, so if you remember from your schooling, uh, eventually we have been learning the formula for variance that is summation of x minus uh, mean of x whole square upon n. When n is the total count, x is the sample. Uh, similarly, for standard deviation, we put uh, under uh, under root of variance. Now, eventually, uh, this is not variance of standard deviation. This is actually population variance of standard deviation. So, what is uh, sample variance now? Now, in case of sample variance, uh, we have a slight difference in the formula. Uh, in place of n, the denominator that we have been using in both standard deviation and variance, we replace it by n minus one. Uh, why do we do that? Uh, so before jumping onto that, we must understand the difference between population and sample. So population is like considering the entire category over which we wish to uh, calculate the mean. For example, uh, if we wish to calculate the mean score of uh, of a particular so in a particular subject of a particular class, so we can consider all the students that would uh, that would form our population. But in case of calculating the height, the mean height of human beings, you really can't go and calculate the height of every human being and then average it out. So eventually what we do is we pull out some samples from the entire population, we calculate the statistics over that and eventually whatever number we get, like for example, we picked out thousands of human beings, we calculate their height, we average it and then we will call that the mean height of human beings is 5 foot 5 inch. Now this is something that has been calculated over sample and not the population. So when similar uh, problem occurs, when we don't have the entire population with us, but just the sample, then we should follow the formula for sample variance of sta uh, or standard deviation, where we would be replacing n by n minus one. Uh, I read it somewhere. This has been done because it is assumed that whenever we will be considering the entire population, it might be the case that the values will be slightly increased, and that is why we uh, the denominator has been reduced to maintain that gap. So eventually we don't be undershooting the value.